last time on Dragon Ball Z. We're not doing that again, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we didn't even go far. We, uh, well, technically we did. We went to Southern Island, I think, and uh, we got ourselves a Latios and a Mega Stone and a Communicator, so now we can turn into Power Rangers. And I'm not the pink one, by the way, so shut up. Anywho, uh, I did say in the last episode that I was going to try and attempt to go back to the island with the Eon ticket that I got on a mystery gift. That won't work until we finish the whole thing right here. So yeah, that's uh, another thing uh, on my list that I have to do. So we're going to be continuing on right here. And first and, for first and foremost, let's go ahead and take a look at the new Latios that we got right here. So as you can see, Latios, both a dragon and psychic type Pokemon, its special attack is through the roof. Not really through the roof. It does have a levitate attack or ability that gives it a full immunity against ground type moves. Now, you guys can't see what kind of moves it, it has, but it does have Heal Pulse, Dragon Breath, Luster Purge, Psycho Shift. Very good moves right there. And, well, yeah, we got him on Southern Island on Cinco de Mayo. By the way, it's Taco Tuesday, and thanks to that coronavirus, we weren't able to get any goddamn tacos. I'm a little mad about that, so, yeah. Anywho, now I know what you guys are thinking. Draven, you're, you're not going to be using this Pokemon on your team, right? Well, for the time right now in these next, this next episode right here, I will be using this Pokemon. Mainly because, yeah, he was a part of our team going into Pokemon Liquid Crystal. And I think it was... Okay, so don't know... Okay, so by this recording, I don't know... Or actually, when this recording or this episode comes out, I don't know if I'm going to be coming out with uh, episode 40. That will be the last episode in the Elite Four for Liquid Crystal. So I'm just going to spoil it for you right now. Yes, Liquid Crystal, I used Latios on, well, Latios on my team for the Elite Four. And yeah, well, I'm not really going to be using him much. I'm just going to be using him right here. Uh, the other reason why I... Yeah, the, the other reason why we can't do anything right now with, as, a, as a sense to Latios and all that stuff too is because we don't have the uh, the horn that, you know, lets us fly around uh, hoe and all and all that stuff too. So, that, all of that is going to have to wait here. Now, there are a lot of trainers right here and I'm actually going to be going section for section right here. So, what we're going to do first is I'm actually going to be using a repel because I do not like getting attacked by any of these Pokemon. And we're gonna we're gonna try and uh, you know evolve Pokemon here and there and all that stuff too. There are a lot of bird co uh, uh, bird trainers right here. Let's see what kind of Pokemon can you find right here? Oh yeah, and there is somebody flip flopping around here. Not right there. And there is a trainer. God dang it! Take flight, my bird Pokemon. Oh, alrighty, bring it. So here we go. Bird Keeper Jester would like to battle us, and he's coming out with his Swablu. Alrighty, and here we go, Hydra 2. Looking like a beast. If you guys don't remember, in the last episode, Hydra 2 dominated everybody, decimated it with the Surf Attack. Looking like a PIMP, that's right. So let's go with the Ice Fang. That's right, eat that Ice Fang. Oh yes. Now, um, most of my Pokemon are overtrained or over leveled just because off screen by episode, I would like to say 30, I was. Out training, battling Pokemon, uh, getting Pokemon through trades and all that stuff. Uh, if uh, you guys don't know, you guys are new to this walkthrough, subscribers and all that crud too, I did assemble all my Pokemon from previous walkthroughs, you know, Pokemon Yellow and On and all that stuff, so just be aware of that. Yeah, I do have my Godzilla with me. I'm not using him for this walkthrough though, because that would be inappropriate. Bird Pokemon that fly elegantly in the sky, they're the best! Okay, well, they're the best. So here we go, going up against Bird Keeper Perry, and he is coming out with his Pelipper. His Pelipper. Pelipper. Whatever. And I don't think. I don't think Hydra. Uh, yeah, Ice. Ice attack won't probably work, I guess. I don't even know. Screw it, let's go with the Crunch attack. Alright, and here comes that Protect attack. Oh god, I hate Pokemon to use Protect to Detect. That's annoying. Especially when you're like about to beat them and they just use it last minute and all that stuff. So here we go, Crunch Attack. And here comes that Payback. Bam! Eats it just like that. Okay, so here we go, Crunch Attack. Finish him. Oh yes. 
Oh yeah, suck on those lovins. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And bam, here we go. Grabbing ourselves a level 43. And let's see. Tyler Perry has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so I'm gonna I'll be right back guys. I need a like I'm getting a phone call right here, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back guys. So yeah. Something that I don't like when I'm recording all these episodes is when people call me on the phone. Can't control that, but I kind of feel like my mom and dad have like this kind of like six or seven cents knowing when I'm doing something very important. They pick the right times and all that stuff, but yes, uh, mom just said, hey, you know, I cooked some dinner, you can come over and get some, and I was like, oh, hell yeah! Like, who doesn't like a home-cooked meal, especially from their mama? See that? That's right. From my mama. By the way, Mother's Day, while I'm recording this, is in a few days, so I already got her gift. So I am not in deep shit, by the way. <laughs> okay, so Lexi, I just switched out my Pokemon right here, and I'm just going to be checking out some areas. As you probably already noticed, there is an area for a secret base right there. And, let's see, I've located berries right here. Now, in Pokemon Emerald, there will be this big old, like, big old wall of rocks and all that stuff. And that will actually be like a telltale sign of that, you know, you might be able to find Groudon right, right around there. But this is Omega Ruby in the Alpha Sapphire series as well. Um, you won't find that. It's just a secret base. Now, look at that. We found ourselves another Citrus Berry. So that's needed and let's go right ahead and take care of another uh, person on the other side of right here let's see and there's Pokemon I think there's a new Pokemon ready to like pounce on us and all that stuff so let's see I'm just gonna check the map because I like seeing the map when it goes yellow and all that stuff and look at that we found ourselves another secret base and that means I can get another flag right here now I haven't been on this game in a few days so oh, wow Okay, so, okay, he doesn't have much blockade right here, but there it is. We found ourselves another flag, and that makes 32 flags still taken. And uh, I don't know who's, I don't know who's, uh, whose base is this, but, and I can't read it because it's probably in some kind of a Asian language, uh, Korean, Chinese, Japanese, Vietnamese. God, I feel so racist with that, but if you see your, your secret base on my channel, comment down below glad to have met you guys right I'm not gonna battle this guy because who knows what kind of Pokemon this person has one time I battled a person with a uh, with Reshiram and Zekrom yeah two Pokemon that I had no shot against all right so here we go delinquent Miley not not related to Cyrus and oh my god here comes a Cacnea I picked the wrong Pokemon for this one right here okay let's go bring it Bring it. Okay, uh, bite attack? Will it do it? Can it do it? Bite attack. Alrighty, okay, so it's doing something, but here comes that ingrain. I don't want that to mess me up right there. Look at that. It's healing its, uh, healing itself with nutri the nutrients on the floor right there. So here we go again with another gr uh, bite attack, and bam! Kecnia defeated. Okay, Raiden kicking ass, taking names. Vesuvius grows to level four 33. And here she comes out with a Mighty Anna. You know what? I'm gonna go with the man, the myth, the legend, Sage of the Halo. Ready to kick some ass right now. So let's go, Sage of the Halo. And uh, well, here's that Mighty Anna. Again, I really wish, I really wish they would have done a lot more with Mighty Anna instead of just giving it like an elemental bite or something, or for that matter, any kind of game. Look, they had so much potential, and it just did this. You know, give it swagger. Swagger's not really what, not really what you think. Okay, so let's go. Well, Fury Cutter can do it. It is effective against uh, Dark type Pokemon, so let's go, Fury Cutter. There we go. Suck on that, Mighty Anna. Alrighty, and look at that. Level 43 for the win. Oh yes. And Desert Storm grows to level 33, and it's learning Earthquake! Okay! Look at that. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take away a move right here. I'm gonna take away Dig because it really... Yeah, what's the point? It does have Earth Power. Eventually, I'm gonna switch it out and all that crud when it evolves. 
And look at that. Miley Cyrus has been defeated. Not so many good in battles. Yeah, buddy. And would you look at that. Vesuvius is finally evolving. Alrighty. So, took us quite a few episodes. A few downtimes and all that stuff. But Vesuvius is finally evolving into the Pokemon it should be. Big ol' Camel Rut. Look at that. Got two big old titties on the back or on its back. Alrighty, Camel Rut. Alrighty, looking like a like a man, and it's learning Rock Slide. So that's another good move that we can actually use for this Pokemon. And okay, so I'm just gonna take away Magnitude since it does have Earth Power right here. And look at that, Rock Slide for the win. Alrighty, okay, so I'm feeling good, awesome, gravy. Now let's move on into this next route right here, Route 123. And this place right here is a little interesting. They actually added just a little bit more to this place. Let's see. Not that one right there. I was kind of hoping that it would, it, it would talk about what, what this place is all about. Now, before before anything, this place uh, was just a small portion of, of land. But now they actually expanded on this place just a bit. Before I do anything, i got to battle some Pokemon trainers right here. Now, let's see. Do I have any kind of... Actually, you know what? I'm going to go straight for Sage of the Halo right here. Because I kind of need to defeat everybody. Let's go. Oh, wait. She doesn't want to battle. Let's see. Hey. Fairy types uh, are sure enough cute, but they can they are, they are can be strong too. I bet you already knew that, eh? And we get ourselves the TM99 Dazzling Green. Or Dazzling Gleam. <laughs> Probably the most powerful fairy type move. There's no fairy type gym in Hoenn, eh? Maybe I'll be sh or I'll sure enough go ahead and make one before Miss Valerie even gets here. Okay, alrighty. Miss Valerie? The train the gym leader from the uh, Kalos? Probably, I don't even know. Wait, where the hell is Gaia? I just realized something, guys. I forgot Gaia. Ah, crud. Eh, well, well. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and start battling some more trainers. Kick some ass. Take names. Oh, you know what? I'm not even switching out Pokemon right now. Let's go. Let's go. Bring it on! Please don't cry when your Pokemon lose. All right, we're going to take you out. Or take you. Uh, we're going to take out your Pokemon. Thanks for the warning. So here it is. We're gonna be. We're gonna be battling Mew, Mew and Yuki, and they're gonna come out with Beautifly and Dustux. So I'm coming out with both Sage of the Halo and Vesuvius right here. Look at that. Now. I'm going to be using Aerial Ace on this guy, and I'm not going to use Lava Plume on anybody because all three are weak. So let's go with the Rock Slide. Aerial Ace for the win. Look at that. Nearly takes him out right there, and here comes the threat. Okay, so that was super effective, and here comes that Light Screen. Okay, so let's get this. Alrighty, Rock Slide takes out Dustox and Beautifly. How about that? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Camel Rupt is kicking ass and taking names. Alrighty, alrighty. Look at the experience points on that. Okay, alrighty. So, there's nothing right here. We can't cross this area right here because we have to be near uh, Mount Pyre. But the most important part right here is... Going into this area right here. Now, this right here is the Berry Master's house, and you'll be able to find a few berries. I'm just saying a few berries. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Do you know Gra Grace Gracidia? Gracidia. In the Sinnoh region, people give bouquet to Gracidia to convey their gratitude. It's an old custom. Okay. Did I? Wait. Did I ever? Wait, I'm trying to figure it out. Did I come across that person? Or if it is a person. Oh, crud. It's been a while, guys. It's been a, a, a long while. All right, you may call me the Berry Master. I dream of filling the world with beautiful flowers, so I raise berries and hand them out to everyone. You're deserving of one. And look at that, we get the Nomel Berry. And let's see, why be stingy? Take another. Look at that, we got ourselves a Tomato Berry. All righty, tomato, tomato, it's whatever. And if you talk to this lady, the way my husband grows berries, oh, he's the best in the world. He makes me proud of what that he does. Incidentally, Incidentally, child, do you know a good saying? What is a good saying? Uh, it has to be something battle. I wonder what kind of battle it was. Uh, well, battle of 
You know what? Let's go with this. Battle of Tacos. Because it is Cinco de Mayo, Taco Tuesday. Damn you, coronavirus. Alrighty, here we go. Tacos. Battle of Tacos. I know there's supposed to be something else on that. Oh, that's a good saying. It's quite remarkable. Whatever. I want you to have this. And we get ourselves the roast berry. That's right, buddy. Okay, alrighty. Alright, so that is that. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Uh, Desert Storm is close to evolving right here. Why won't we try out Latios for the first time? Let's go right ahead and use this Pokemon. And she did not look at us. Good times are filled with good aromas. That's right, young lady. That is right. Okay, so Aroma of la Lady Violet coming out with the Vile Plume. Look at that. I haven't seen this Pokemon in, uh, in a while. And here we go with Latios. First time battling, and it's already gained a bunch of experience points. Let's go with Luster Purge. Now, I could use Mega Evolution, but I kind of don't want to use it right here on regular trainers. It's going to be a while before I start using uh, Mega Evolution, guys. Trust me, it's going to be a while. Very, very while. Big while. And look at that. Latios grows to level 31. Yeah, buddy. And Vesuvius to level 34. It's a very good Pokemon. Very damn good Pokemon right there. Nice. Okay. So let's move on right here. And there's an item that we need to grab. And look at that. We found ourselves an Ultra Ball. Much needed Ultra Ball. Don't know why we have it right there. And this is what I was talking about, guys. If you go right here, you're going to be finding a buttload of berries. You know, when I'm watching a cute little berries grow up and all springy and nice, they're just too cute to resist. Take as many as you like, use them, uh, use them to grow even more berries. What are you talking about? Let's go ahead and see. So as you can see, we're going to be finding a buttload of berries. And you can actually grow them right here too. This is actually a perfect spot to water and grow and get berries and all that stuff. We actually get one of each, I think. But eventually, you know, if you grow them and all that stuff, there will be a lot of berries. Now, remember, getting some berries right here, or using the berries in Hoenn, you'll be able to use, uh, what was it, uh, cubes? To uh, to fix up Pokemon's beauty and all that crud. Uh, I don't know about contests and all that stuff that I... Should I be doing them? I don't even know. I know that I promised them over in Pokemon Emerald, but right now, I kind of feel more focused on main games and stuff, too, since, you know... We're, we're still on lockdown. The whole world is on lockdown. And I don't know if I even have that time for that stuff, too. So we'll, we'll see what happens. So that's one. And we got plenty of more right here, guys. Look at that. Usually this place is a little bit rainy. So let's go right ahead and grab this. Look at that. We get ourselves a Lumberry. Cool, 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 cool. And we're grabbing this. Look at that. Two berries. Two figgy berries. Cool, cool. That's good. And wiki berries. Like Wikipedia and all that stuff. Alrighty, okay, alrighty, okay, let's go, let's grab this. The Muggo Berry. Yeah, buddy, look at that. Look at that Muggo Berry. It's awesome. And no, I do not want to plant any berries just yet. Okay, so let's see. Going on to this berry right here. The Agua Berry. Grabbing that. Yes, sir, above. Look at that. And. Grabbing this berry, the Ipapa berry. Yeah, I, I think I said that right. Yeah. Alrighty, so there, that's not the end of those berries. We're, we still got a lot more berries to go right here. So let's see. Grabbing this one, the Okaka berry. We're learning a whole bunch of different names right here. Very, very good different names. Grab this one right here, and we get ourselves a Pasho berry. Pasho, Pasho, it's whatever. God dang it. I'm a little quick trigger to this whole thing right here. Let's go right here and Wakan Berry. The Wakanda Berry. Look at that, we got the Wakanda Berry. That's awesome. I wonder if it takes us to Wakanda. I don't know. That would be cool. You know, using an Adamantium or... Uh, what, 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 yeah, an Adamantium Pokeball? Or what? Wait, wait, I think I got that wrong. What was the name of the of the steel that, that is being used for Captain America's... Uh, what should we call it? Uh, shield. I should know this. God dang it. I keep on forgetting all this stuff. Adamantium. It might be adamantium. Should it be adamantium? I don't even know. I don't even know, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys might be criticizing me right now. I don't care. <laughs> I'm getting old here. Then here comes the Cassie Berry. Awesome stuff. 
And what else we got right here? Let's grab this one. We got about Haban Berry. The Haban. And Kalua Berry. Wow, I wonder what all these berries do for a Pokemon and all that stuff. You must be, like, very, very invested. Like, you must be pretty invested if you're going into the Pokemon contest rather than just the Pokemon training right here. I don't know. Now, if there is... Okay, so if any of you guys know any Pokemon trainer, like any PokeTuber that actually does, you know, videos on Pokemon contests are very, very invested in that, comment down below. Leave me the link so I can find them and then just, like, see what's going on right there because, again, who does the contest? I just want... I want to know. I really do want to know. So... Let's get the heck out of here. We've already done our stuff right here, and now we're going back straight to Route 118, I think. Route 118. Yes, we are. And I kind of want to escape these, these leaves right here. There's a Pokemon waiting for us. Don't want to capture him right now. And we're going to stop right here, guys. So in the next episode, we're going to be going north of Route 118, taking care of another uh, few other trainers and all that stuff. And yeah. Hopefully, maybe, just maybe, we'll do Pokemon Evolution, like a Mega Evolution and all that stuff. Who knows? We, we will see you guys. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.